This is the new Subaru WRX STI. Now, we won't get it in Australia till about July, but trust me, if you've got the budget, this could really be worth waiting for. It's got all the STI tricks that make it the high-end performance version of the WRX, including the clever center diff, the intelligent all-wheel drive, the turbocharged 300 horsepower plus engine, and a six-speed gearbox. There's no automatic in this car. But I guess that's the point. Cars like this are designed to be driven at racetracks, and I'm here at Laguna Seca racetrack, yes, that Laguna Seca, in California. And there's some helmets in there and some flag marshals and this has got a full tank of petrol so let's see what happens. Even before you take to the track, there's a temptation to think that the new STI might be a bit of a letdown. For a start, it has no more power or torque than the previous model, and it weighs about the same or even a little bit more. The engine still has a bit of a torque black hole below 3000 RPM too, but above that it's as frisky as ever, and if you keep it on the boil with the close ratio six-speed manual, it will stay with most other cars. But beyond that, Subaru has worked hard to make the car handle with stiffer suspension, extra bracing, high strength steel in the body shell, and even torque vectoring, as well as the active center diff that the STI has had for many years. And put simply, it works. Yes, the ride is firm on poor surfaces, but the damping ensures that it's never as manic as earlier versions. And yes, you'll never forget you're in a performance car, but that's the point really, isn't it? And on the racetrack where many an STI will wind up, the thing is the best it's ever been. It's the best steering, flattest cornering, and most neutral STI ever. And that means it's also the fastest and the most fun. If Subaru can keep a lid on the price, we reckon they've really pulled one out of the bag this time, despite obviously working with a very tight development budget. Which is why there's no automatic version, no hatchback version, and why the interior plastics are still so typically Subaru, as in not really that good. But for those who crave this sort of fun, they won't care about that. And to be honest, in the case of this STI, neither do we.